Puerto Rico. A Puerto Rico. A Puerto Rico. A Puerto Rico. Music to me is more spiritual than anything else. And then when you're able to find a combination of samples and vocals and uh, create this synergy that causes a reaction. I created Puerto Rico in 1994. The reason why I created Puerto Rico in 1994 was because I wanted to send a statement to the hip hop world, not only to the hip hop world, but to the entire world to let them know that Puerto Ricans and Latinos were here from day one. The origin of hip hop was started by the power of black and Puerto Rican people. As soon as I heard it, I was like, this is a song that's going to ring off. You know, it's got the call and response. It's an anthem. I could tell it was an anthem right from day one. Here's the million dollar question that even I didn't know the answer to. And I asked Frankie Cutlass. Who is the voice that says Puerto Rico, ho? The main sample, Puerto Rico, ho, uh, was taken from a mixtape which was titled uh, Live Convention 1982. Uh, it was done by Grand Wizard Theater. There was a part there, there was two rap groups that were battling, and there was a part there where uh, they screened out Puerto Rico. I took that and looped it. Let the all can tell the theater, huh? He got the client uh, tell the all uh, night, y'all. If it's all hey, night, y'all. Hey, Puerto Rico, The uh, drum part was taken by the um, um, Lafayette and Afro rock band. Bass line was taken by the uh, uh, Fred Wesley and the JBs. Yeah. Uh, the samples alone that are in the song, heartbeat. Don't make you feel so weak. And then the drum rolls, uh, it was taken from a classic R&B uh, song, Heartbeat, by Tana Garner. Yeah, two DJs, I, I gotta get props to two DJs that played, the first DJ that played was Funkmaster Flex. I went in front of Hot 97, I was like, yo Flex, check out my song. I gave him the vine, he was like, I'll check it out, you know, and then a few minutes later, I hear the record on Hot 97, I was blown away, I was like, oh man, this record's about to pop. I was in the car listening to Funk Master Flex on Hot 97, and I was like, wait a minute, we have a problem here. Why I don't have this record? And the second DJ that I got to get props to is uh, Ralph McDaniels from Music Video Box. I mean, he dared to play it when um, Yo MTV Raps and BT didn't dare to play my video. classic hip-hop, you know, and for Frankie to be able to do that in a way, in a hip-hop way, and also in a in a pride way for the, the country, you know, that's incredible. Maybe he's a genius. I don't know. <laughs> Puerto Rico! Yeah. Yeah. Puerto Rico! Oh. Puerto Rico! Oh. Puerto Rico! I mean, this song was played around the world. Um, I remember um, looking at a boxing fight many years ago with uh, Felix uh, Tito Trinidad, you know, former um, boxing champion, came out to it. And then you had Miguel Cotto, who used to, you know, used to box and used to hear the record over the speakers and, you know, and all his boxing matches. Um, it also was featuring a lot of films, especially one film which was titled Gloria, and the uh, actress was Sharon Stone. I think, yeah, it makes you feel prideful. A anytime that the word Puerto Rico's sung and song, you know, you've been at a concert, a Mark Anthony concert and other things, when it's yelled and the crowd just goes crazy. I think the biggest person that used this record was Jennifer Lopez, J-Lo, uh, 2002 live from Puerto Rico. It was her first appearance in Puerto Rico. I was in my living room, we were sitting down, I think it was on NBC or something like that, and all of a sudden it was live. Puerto Rico just came on. She opened up the concert with my son Puerto Rico. I was blown away. I was like, yeah. Not only that concert, but she also opened up the 2020 Super Bowl uh, halftime with my son Puerto Rico as well.
man. Big up to J-Lo uh, for continuing to uh, use my song and, um, you know, letting people know that this record is here to stay. Still an anthem. Still makes the same reaction. We get the same reaction from the crowd. Yeah, man, I, I, dare to, I dare to say that, you know, Puerto Rico was the record that broke a lot of barriers, broke a lot of doors, you know, down for a lot of Puerto Rican rappers and even Latino rappers. Um, when the, it was hard to get into the hip-hop scene back then, the only rapper that was toe-to-toe -to -toe with me was Fat Joe. He just finished coming out with Flo Joe and his album, and he was making a lot of noise in the hip-hop underground scene. You know, Puerto Rico was a party record, so it had more leverage to play in, in, you know, in clubs and play in radio stations because it was a party song, you know what I'm saying? And um, when they added in Hot 97 and different um, um, stations across the country, that's, that's, I believe, that we broke a lot of barriers for a lot of Puerto Rican rappers. Yo, Frankie, man, what's up, man? You haven't had a hit for a while, man, since Puerto Rico whole, man. You dropped off by people's going Hey, down. yo, yo, Tito. Yo, Frankie. Yo, what's up, Tito? What's up, man? Yo, I don't know what you're talking about, man. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we're going to the island to meet Fat Joe Doo up and the Evil Twins, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, right, man. Yo, yo, you always saying that stuff, man. What's up, man? Come yo, on. we got Boricos on the set, man. You know what I'm saying? The song called Boricos yeah, on the set, man. Yeah, it's your dream, man. Oh, man.